congratulations on homework, which of course you've written with your lovely daughter. Yes, it's it's been a thrill to write with her help and she's so much better a writer than I am <laughs> and I mean that because she teaches uh, writing it uh, and, and uh, uh, does so much of it herself and research and so on. Mm. But I couldn't have managed without her guidance and help and she did all the really difficult stuff like right. the timeline and and the research into my diaries that I use and things like that. Oh, it's wonderful. And, and sharing those experiences together as well, sort of reliving all those amazing moments well, in your life. Well, the funny thing is, is at the time, you don't think about it so much because you're so busy getting on with life. Of course. But to review it in, in a memoir is mm -hmm. quite another thing altogether. Very much so. And of course, we learned a lot about your, your daughters that you adopted from yes, Southeast Asia. Yes. Um, which again, you know, I don't think a lot of people would know about that so much. So well, it was lovely to read that too. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm so glad. Well, my, my trip there later was, was an amazing uh, uh, revelation for me. Mm -hmm. and, but uh, that was long after they were our kids. <laughs> and the good thing is you changed the law. You know, you you were you were a really vital part in, in well, changing. Well, it was a Congress. minor, very small thing no, that no, I no, did. No, 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 not at all. But it <laughs> felt wonderful to be able to do it. And what it was was that I'd seen all the Amerasian children that were desperate to get visas to come into the states, and that bill was coming up for review on the floor of in Washington. And uh, my voice was probably the last one that they heard saying please get the bill signed and have it done because these children need a home. No, very much so. And I think we forget that at that time, that there were so many well, children. Well, there were. And, then, and, and they were allowed in finally, which was huge for them. And I felt it, it happened on my birthday. <laughs> and I thought that's the best birthday present I could ever Fantastic. have been given. Because yeah. you think of all the amazing achievements you've had in your career. They are huge, all these massive milestones, amazing films. But I guess that was so very special. That, it was that moment, special. Yes. When you make such a difference. Yes, such and, a and difference. seeing uh, seeing all the refugee camps for myself and the, the problems in Southeast Asia, I mean, they are so monumental, it really puts life into perspective. For sure. But there's not many people that would have did, did that, and not many well, people that would have. There are a lot of that would have wonderful people out there that do that work, but. For me, it was uh, it was a very good thing to have done. Oh, it's fantastic! Yeah. I love the stories about all the movies, of course, <laughs> that we associate you with. And the thing about Mary Poppins at that time, it was really trailblazing because um, the special effects and all of that. Yes, and were, uh, were they can do so many more these days. Of but course, in those days, they wow. had to find a way to make them look invisible. It was extraordinary and but of course you were dangling from the wire and I was very distressed to read that it was nearly the end of you when, when they dropped you like a ton of bricks. How well, dare they? Well just, uh, <laughs> just one unlucky moment that's for sure. Luckily I had counterbalancing weights at the other end of those wires so I didn't actually uh, break a leg or anything no. like that. Yes. Or you would have been squashed. Well, yes, something Which, like that. Can you imagine? Um, obviously, that was a huge part of your life. They did do a remake as well. Yes. Which I thought... 50 years later 50 or years 60 later. years yeah, later. Yeah, something yeah, yeah. Something mind-boggling. crazy like that. Yeah. I really enjoyed it, but there's nothing like the original. And I can't imagine them ever doing The Sound of Music again, for example. What would be the point of I, remaking I The Sound know. of Music? I don't know. I mean, they no. made... Uh, everything's made over these days. There's Not always... that one that can't. No. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> Nobody could do it. Nobody could do it like you. Did you know at the time this was going to be a, a no, movie that I don't is... think... You hope that you're yeah. not making a disastrous flop and you want it to be as good as possible, but you, uh, I don't think anybody... Because, in fact, the reviews at the time for the film were not that great. It's the way The Sound of Music in, 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 in its history just grew and grew yeah. and grew because people seem to love it so much. Oh, so, so, As so did much. I. Yeah. I know, it's an yeah. amazing film. And each generation that grows up and experiences that film for the first time, I always feel very envious of somebody watching it for the first time, <laughs> you know, and finding well, it's all It's one that. of the great, well-made Hollywood movies, the, the, the great musicals that they, they, they do make. Sure. And they, they're so amazing to see how they're made and, and the, the work that goes in, what a collaborative effort it is.
You're very, very generous in your book. You're very positive. I love your positivity. It just shines out through every page. And I can hear you talking to me. Oh, I like It's like it. you're talking to me. It's like we were having Thank a conversation. You. Oh, you know good. what I mean? But, but you, you are, you always tend to see the best in things. Well, I think, I guess I sort of, uh, most of my life have seen the glass half full rather yeah. than half empty. And um, I've been so blessed. I mean, think about it. I'm the lucky girl that was asked to do all these wonderful things. And so how could I write, be anything but positive, you know? I, I know Sound of Music, amazing, Mary Poppins, but for me, Victor Victoria. I loved that film so much, so ahead of its time. Well, it What, what was. a trailblazing film that was. So you were a girl pretending to be a man who's pretending to be a girl. Yes, right. <laughs> that's right. That is one of the toughest things you could ever do. Well, I felt like I was tapping my head and rubbing my belly at the same time. <laughs> I bet you did, yes. because, but you got it. I mean, we utterly believed it. I think that my husband, my wonderful director, uh, husband, Blake Edwards, who directed Victor Victoria, he said to me, I, I said to him, I don't think anybody's going to ever believe that I am really uh, could fake it as a male. Mm. And he said, Julie, it'll be all right because <laughs> the audience within the movie mm -hmm. believes it. Therefore, the audience watching the movie will probably go along with it. And that made me feel much easier. Mm. And of course, you did it on Broadway as well. Yes. Your voice in that is extraordinary because it's from a way down here to right up there. That's, well, thank you for noticing. Uh, incredible. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Do you still sing now and again? No, I no. don't. Um, I think I'll leave it up to other people now. And uh, I do use music in every way possible, but I don't really sing mm. anymore. But, well, the thing is, we've got we've got the music, haven't we? We've got it there. We've well, really thank have. heavens for that. Yeah. <laughs> really? And I loved it so. I wish I could, mm -hmm. but um, I had an operation and it wasn't that successful. So. I know, that was so, so sad. So, it was, so sad. but, uh, you know, the amazing thing is, I guess glass half full, the things that came out of that, I wouldn't have been writing as much. That's true. And uh, my daughter said, Mum, you've just found a new way of using your voice. Oh, what a wonderful way to look Isn't at that it. That's a fantastic. great thing to and say. That, again, that's, you've obviously passed on your positivity to all your well, family. Well, it was such a generous <laughs> thing to say. And it was like the weight fell off my oh, head. Oh, that yeah. is lovely. It really is. You mentioned, of course, Blake Edwards, your, your husband. You worked together loads and loads. I always remember the movie SOB. And there was a huge furore about that. And I will never forget, the headline was, Mary Pops Out. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, so no, but, it's, I. but it was fine. But you know what? It was like you, you rehearsed and rehearsed that scene because we, we actually saw, you know, you, you do have boobs because you're a woman and you've got boobs and that's fine. Yes. Absolutely fine. And it was part well, of the thank story. Well, <laughs> It was part of the story. But I mean, were you quite, did it feel strange that that was such a big deal? Well, it was just a you tiny know, I scene. had about, uh, it took about eight years to get that movie made. Did it? Gosh. Yes, because it really was a diatribe against the follies in yeah. Hollywood at times. Oh, that's okay, don't worry. <laughs> That'll be... <laughs> Somebody's phone is ringing. <laughs> it's all right, it doesn't matter, it doesn't Blake, matter. Stop oh, that. bless him. Um, what movies he made, wow. Yes, he was very, he was a master of he was. all genres, really. Yeah, really Musicals was. and comedies and film noir and uh, just so many. But but that scene, we I had about eight years to think about <laughs> bearing my chest and so... <laughs> Uh, by the time we got to it, and Blake was very tactful about it. <laughs> As somebody else is calling now. <laughs> it's okay, Tom. I'm just glad it's not mine. It's usually me that that happens to. It's fine. Yeah, so you, you had plenty of time to prepare. Yes. So it was fine. Yes. Exactly. It was okay. But it's a funny story. Oh, I know it is. <laughs> I mean, it was eventually, uh, originally going to be just one side of me. And then Blake said, no, it's got to be both. <laughs> well, he'd seen them before and he knew that well, it would he be did. lovely. Thank, thank God we were married and he knew. I know, yeah. I know. You had an incredible relationship, you two. I mean, working together, it living together, lovely. being together. Yeah. And, and I miss him like crazy. I bet you He do. was the most charismatic fellow and he, he had a lot of problems. He suffered from depression a great deal. But when all was said and done, he was my mate and I loved him so much. Well, that shines out in the book. Thank it really you. does. Thank and the you. time that you spent, because do you get time, you know, I know that you spent a lot of time in Gestad. Is that somewhere that is very close to your heart? And you yes, like to get we've there had, as had a home in yeah. Switzerland for well, many, many, many years. And that's where you could just be Well, the, you. the family can, uh, you know, kick back and we can sure. just be family. Mm. It's 
it's just our place. That's good. You need that. I love the fact that you're very honest and open again about going to a therapist. And, you know, now we are getting so much better at talking about mental health I issues. I know, for We're some reason, that. people but think it's a very... Now we have a, a, a <laughs> thing out. I think ah, <laughs> somebody's definitely <laughs> trying to do something to us. Um, but everybody seems to feel that it's such a, 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 an amazing thing to discuss. But I feel so very fortunate that I had something that helped me clear clear my head and get yeah. rid of the clutter and mm. understand life a little better. And I needed that. Yeah, and it's just, you're absolutely right. And I think everybody, now we are getting to the stage where people are getting a little more open Yes, I remember when I first went, my mother thought that I was going into a madhouse or something right. like that. So it was quite crazy. unusual. And I guess for, for someone, I guess from your background as well, maybe it's that, that thing, because you have got the attitude of you soldier on. You're a grafter. You've always been a grafter, haven't you? I love that word. <laughs> I love that word. I've never been called that before. But you absolutely are. And again, you, you can tell that in the book. Oh, you just, you thank just, you. You thank put you. your heart and soul into every single project. Well, think how lucky I've been. I mean, I'm the fortunate lady that's been asked to do all those wonderful things and that did meet my husband and that was able to learn about film. And, and I just think that I'm extremely fortunate. I like that. I think that's, I wish more people had your attitude, to be honest. Anything left for you to do? It's going to be more writing, I hope. Oh, I hope so too, and I enjoy it very much. Anything left? Yes, there's quite a bit uh, in, my, in my future. There's, um, and my daughter and I are preparing a podcast next year about children's books, which we write together. Of course. And um, I'm doing a, a series for Netflix called The Bridgertons, mm -hmm. and... Um, it's, uh, I, I actually am narrating the, the series, which is voice over each episode. And I think I play a, a, a rather sharp uh, um, lady of the press who, who reports uh, all the goings on in, in town. Oh, that sounds very intriguing. Well, it might be. Oh, I'm, at least so. I'm hoping it will be. No, it will. No, it absolutely will. And yeah. that's the thing now about television. That won't be happening till next year no. at some point. But the thing yeah. about telly and Netflix, as you mentioned, as an actor, and uh, you can actually really delve deep into the character because you get the time. Well, you do. To do that. You do. I think you probably. I don't know whether you get more time on a movie or on television, but I'm grateful for it, whatever it is. <laughs> so you're never, ever, ever going to retire. Um, Please. I can't say that, <laughs> but you know what? I can never not be doing something. For sure. Uh, probably, maybe not in, in the business the way I used to, True. but certainly um, either doing something in my garden or doing something <laughs> with my kids, which I love, or books or mm. whatever. 